Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari 8-bit games, some which I grew up with, and some which are new to me. Today is one of the former. Today we're looking at Master Type, which was a 1982 release by Lightning Software, later re-released by Scarborough Systems Incorporated. So this was a game that helped to teach touch typing through fun gameplay. So rather than taking the approach of uh, giving people rather dry drills and instructions and that sort of thing, this was an actual full on game that required you to use touch typing skills to progress. You have a spaceship in the middle of the screen, you are typing words and that makes a space wizard fired lasers at them or something like that. So it was a pretty appealing concept, even though it doesn't make a ton of sense. Now, although this was designed as a game, it was also designed as a teaching aid. So the original documentation for this um, suggests that it be used in an actual sort of tuition scenario. So sort of with the learner sitting at the computer and the tutor keeping an eye on them and drilling them in, uh, keeping their hands in the home positions on the keys and that sort of thing. And um, the manual as a whole includes lots of helpful advice for both students and for teachers. So it was, despite being a fun game, it was also a good learning aid as well. It featured a variety of different options for all sorts of different skill levels, ranging from sort of single finger, one letter at a time, to sort of using the shift key to do capitals and punctuation and that sort of thing. So, yeah, sort of uh, the closest thing we had in the Atari 8-bit era to something like Typing of the Dead, I guess. Um, and it also featured an editor system as well. So if you wanted to put your own words and phrases in, you could as well. So you could really customize this and make it your own. So let's go play Master Type. Okay, here we are with Master Type. This is a game I used to really like when I was a kid. Um, largely because I was sort of uh, learning how to type and really enjoying it. And the fact that I had games like this to kind of make the learning of typing fun was really cool as well. There was there was this, there was a game called Typo Attack uh, that was a really cool one. I think that was an Atari Program Exchange one. Um... But this one always struck me as, as really cool. So, any key to be in. Enter lesson number 1 to 17 or the name of a new one on disc or tape and press return. Just press return for lesson 1. So let's just do lesson 1 to begin with to see how it starts you off. Press return to play or press one of the following. Change options, beginner mode or demo mode. So let's have a look at the options. Your current speed goal is 13. Redisplay score, change lesson, catalog disc, create new lesson, change case, upper or lower case. Okay, so... The um the way the Atari graphics modes worked, you you'll notice that everything is being printed in capital letters at the moment. The graphics mode that this game is using, um, you could do capital letters or lowercase letters, not both. Um, so if you wanted to change between them, oh, beg your pardon, beg your pardon. The 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 text in this one uses the graphics mode zero text, which is uh, allows you to a mix of both. So um, that option there allows you to switch between just uppercase letters, which is the ones you have printed on your keyboard, uh, and upper and lowercase letters. So a lot of people learn to read with just lowercase letters, so it's surprising that there's no option for that there for, for younger children. But um, yeah, I guess it makes sense to have just capital letters as an option, because that way you can just sort of match it to uh, the letters on your keyboard. All right, let's have a go. Let's return to play. Type the words in the corners before they get you. Press the space bar after each one. So start this off very gently with just some keys around the home area. So just the A ASDF. So wave one complete, average speed, 25 words per minute. All right, we've got the right hand entering play now. Oh, and some others. I know we don't need to look at the keyboard, but I've got a microphone in my face, so uh, <laughs> just need to check sometimes. Uh, ooh, punctuation, eh? Okay, so so it is just four different. Um, things in a particular wave whoops that's what happens when you get one wrong 
A winner! Press return to play. Score 12,506. Average speed 37. Final speed 32. Words type 42. Words zapped. Mistakes 2. Your score is great. You're ready to go on to the next lesson. Okay, so let's do that. Lesson number 2. Ready to begin. Alright, so we've got pairs of letters this time. So still not actual words yet. But pairs of letters. We're in single letters as well. Yeah, this is getting a bit more challenging already. Yeah, 40 words per minute now. Now we're cooking. Pairs of the same letter. Nice. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good and speedy. This is quite tense, actually. Oh, you lose points for mistakes. That's no good, is it? Ooh, that was intense. Carry on, lad. Jack. Jack. No, 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 no. Jack. Cal. Fad. Gal. Jack. Fad. Cal. Hey, semicolon. Gal. Ha, semicolon. G, semicolon. A, S, semicolon. Hal. G, S, Hal. Ah. <laughs> See, well, this is fun now. This is it's surprisingly intense. Surprisingly intense. 16,924. Your score is great. You are ready to go into the next lesson. All right. Bring it on. Uh, change lesson. Three. <sighs> Am I ready for this? Yeah, we got it. Fad. Jack. Add fad. Jack. Gal. Sag. Yes. Jag. Gag. Dad. Oops. Ash. Black. Had. Dash. Gall. Ash. Getting some actual words in here now. I always find it much easier to type actual words than weird combinations of characters just because I think it's a more natural thing to do if you're used to typing you're more used to actually typing modern words modern words full words you sort of have an element of muscle memory gash what a good word that is flag shall another gash another flag it's really loving its gashes today Fla flag shall wonderful 55 words per minute we're accelerating with each lesson love it slash jaffa salad flash with fall no i've done it wrong i'm going to die go oh no it's all over your shield has been destroyed in the northwest corner plus return to continue oh it's not all over i've just died in the top left corner falls and yet ships your ship sort of <laughs> there goes my bottom left shield all right bring it on alfalfa Flags, Dallas, Flash. That's not how you spell Dallas. I've just noticed your ship isn't firing lasers. There's just a wizard popping out the side of it, firing lightning at them. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Right, your score is great. You're ready to go into the next lesson. I'm not sure I am, but let's do it anyway. Uh, where, where were we? Was that... I can't remember. Four? Four. Q, W, E. Oh, this is much easier. Q, 
Q-W-E-R-T-Y U-I-O-P You don't scare me, top row! Q-Q That's interesting. So it's sort of taking a row of the keyboard at the time. So that those last ones we did, level three, were sort of difficult words on the middle row of the keyboard. And now we're using both rows. AQA. Lol. Oops. No. No. I was having a mental block with that second A for some reason. Yes, very good. Sem no, no. Where's the semicolon gone? Judge. Oh god, my hands have moved to the wrong position. The words won. Your score is very good. You should try a slower speed. Well, I'm not going to because I'm stubborn. Q W E R. T Y U I O P. Right, bring it on. Okay, so this first two stages are pretty easy. So when we get to here. Ah, these are all following a pattern, though. These are all just going back and forth, up and down across keys that are next to each other on the keyboard. Once you recognise that pattern, it makes it much easier. As long as you can remember where the semicolon is. There we go! Pro! Lead skills! Is this the same again? This is just the same again, isn't it? Alright. Much better. Right. Level 5. Bring it on. Ooh. Homophones, eh? Oops. Accidental racial slur. I do apologise. Actually, having to concentrate quite hard now. I'm enjoying myself though. This is fun. This is one of those games that, on paper, it shouldn't be fun, but it is. Just because it's it's set at such a speed that it's just slightly too fast to be comfortable, and thus you have to really concentrate and work hard to stay alive. Try to survive if you can. It's worth noting as well that you don't have to wait for the zapping animation to finish before you start typing the next one. And so if you want a higher speed rating, you can just um, you can just keep typing. No mistakes that time. Uh, ready to go to the next lesson. So lesson number six. Oops. Four letter words. Four. Hits. Look. Oily. Yard. Grow. Heap. Wisp. Goal. Wrap. Heap. Goal. Wrap. Nice. Jolt. Five letter words. This is outrageous. Awful. Who's worst? Flask. Awful. Worst. Who's flask? Oops, that's not how you spell flask. Stays. Awful. Who's no? Who's flask? Stays. Awful. 
whose stays quota spoke quota spoke and relax oh god payday juggle oh you can press return as well as spacebar no poised uh, aureole what the what are these maddening words that no one uses oh aureole parish poised faster lab poised parish faster ace if vf Faster parish F E F Ace D C D Parish Ace D C D and we've done it Nearly More F B F Jean Michel Ja A success Oh no Oh dear me Semicolon slash semicolon is not a very nice thing to type. Oh no! Oh, it's all over. The words won. Those are some unpleasant combinations. Your score is great. You should try so as speed. Well, I'm not going to. We'll have one more go at this and then, and then we'll call it a day. I'm not going to go through all 17 lessons. Maybe you'll try the hardest one after this one. Assuming I get through it. But let's... Nope. That's my hands being misaligned again. Oily grow. Yard heap. Look. Oily goal yard. Look. Oily wrap. Yard wisp wrap. Wisp yard. Okay, so that, that's all fine. It starts to get a little bit harder here with the five letter words. But as long as you as long as you don't panic, it's all fine. As long as you just concentrate and zap the words. They can't get you, they're just words. Words can't hurt you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me unless I'm in charge of a large spaceship which is under attack by word monsters of real I do not like no perish juggle of real perish I do not like typing the word aureole this is where you start to notice all sorts of those weird I don't know if you call them Freudian slips, but sort of common slips that you make when you're typing common words. Like every time I start typing poised, I want to type poisoned. Oh no! Yes, 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 very good. All right. Where's the. Mr. the Slash. No. Oh. Defeated by Slash once again. Right. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Can... All right. One more try. Concentrating now. I, w I want to clear this one. It's a matter of pride now. I've always prided myself on my good typing speed and my accuracy of typing, so, you know. To have this game taking the piss is 70 words per minute. That's more like it. I'm going to be really good at typing Oriole by the end of today. No. Faster? No, thank you. <laughs> this is surprisingly exhausting. Oh, 
No, no. I found slash. Now I'm having trouble finding comma. Uh oh. I think we're nearly there, though. Ah, oh, we've done it. Marvellous. Right. Let's have a go at the hardest level, just to see what that is expecting of us. Let's go. New. Four. Next. New. Four. Next. Alright, okay, these aren't hard words per se but these are all basic commands that's a clever idea because one thing you would be doing a lot on an Atari computer would be typing out basic commands and if you can familiarize yourself with typing those in very quickly then that will make you much more efficient at doing things like programming and typing in things from magazines You can see I'm pretty quick at these words because I typed in a lot of things from magazines when I was a kid. And so I've got the muscle memory for typing in these words. Apart from restore, apparently. Yeah, getting... Really quick now. Oh, character string. Ask. Question mark. Oh, we're getting some some of the more obscure commands coming in now. You can't phase me though. Basic. All right. Whew. I'm out of breath. <laughs> that was good fun. That was Master Type. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that game. And it's actually a good typing tutor still. Um, yeah, so if you want a, a good fun way to practice your, your typing skill and try and speed yourself up a bit, then uh, that's well worth a go, even, even if you're emulating it on a modern computer. Because most emulators, rather than using, trying to sort of completely replicate the old Atari 8-bit keyboard layout... Uh, they just map the 8-bit keyboard layout to a modern keyboard. So, yeah, you can use that as, as a typing practice tool on modern systems as well. I enjoyed that, but I think I need to lie down now. So I'll just say, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. <coughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. New episodes of Atari A to Z are on Tuesdays and Atari ST A to Z on Thursdays. Check out Atari A to Z .wordpress.com for a full archive. Do please also check out my other projects, MoeGamer.net, where I explore Japanese and Japanese-inspired games from yesterday and today, and VideoPackGames.wordpress.com, which aims to catalogue the small but well-formed library of the Philips G7000 Video Pack Computer, also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2. You can also support my work on Patreon, or buy me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.